Well, Jeremy Hansen here for Life on the Farm, and I'm in rural Hortonville today on a nice brisk winter day, and with me is Hunter Strebig from Morning Breeze Farms. Hunter, why are we standing out here? What are we looking at right here? We're taking a look at my outwintering program I got here for my beef cattle and how how I do everything out here. Yeah. So what is the purpose of an outwintering uh, pasture for your uh, rotational grazing herd here? It's a more natural way for the beef cattle. They graze bales that we pre-place. We place, place about a week's worth of bales out in the pasture. They're spaced evenly apart and we feed two, three at a time and we just kind of work across the pasture. So tell me a little bit more about your pasture here. How big is your farm? And uh, tell me a little bit about the fencing that we see here. We got about 50 acres under fence. Uh, 33, 35 acres or so is permanent pasture with uh, clover grass mix. And then the pasture that's right behind us is a seasonal pasture that we seed every single year and then we choose to use this pasture to outwinter for that purpose so then we just reseed it and it's always a fresh new pasture. And I mentioned some of the fencing. Um, tell me a little bit about uh, specifically what is this fence and did you have help with designing this? Yeah, so the fence that we got up here is a high tensile fence. It was put up by a fencing contractor. We worked with NRCS and to design and plan out how this fence was going to get made and we got some grant money to help pay for this pasture. So between us right here is a waterer. Has this frozen up this winter at all? Very little. In the like negative 20 degrees days we get a little bit of crust on it but it's not bad. So you obviously have an underwater water pipe buried but do you have a, like a power cord coming all the way from the farm? No, there is no power here. It's a geothermal tube that goes down about 10 feet into the ground and it uses all ground temperature to keep the water open all winter long. Yeah, wonderful. We've got to make sure there's water for, for the, your cattle here. And Hunter, you have a cow-calf operation and you have about 20-ish animals. What do you do with the, the raised animals? Um, we raise them to um, uh, butchering age and then we sell it to the cu a customer and it, we got a store on online morningbreezefarm.com and people can come order variety packs, um, individually packaged meats along with quarters, halves, holes, along with other produce and product. And that is something that you just recently got, got going this last uh, fall or summer, correct? Yeah, correct. It's, it's been yeah, a little less than a year where we just started doing all this. Okay. Well, Hunter, thanks for inviting me out here today to take a look at your outwintering area with your cattle. Really appreciate it. No problem. And for Life on the Farm, I'm Jeremy Hansen. <laughs>